Hello friends, welcome you all on my channel Simply Truth. I am Trupti and this is my second episode in the summer special giveaway. Well, I am going to do this for 15 days but I'm, I don't know whether I will record all 15 videos or not. But uh, definitely uh, I will record the first 3 videos. Before. So I have almost finished my green tea. Uh, yesterday I received 5 orders. All five orders are again from my friends, my known people who are my existing subscribers. Four people, four uh, of my friends, they have asked for Aadu Paratha and one friend had asked for Kasha Budan actually. I asked them to rethink. I am going to make Aadu Paratha for 10 people. Uh, this recipe is already there on my channel but uh, the quantity is definitely going to differ today. It is super easy to prepare and it is my style aloo paratha. So let's get started with the preparation. Three cups of wheat flour. There again there is uh, no perfect measurement actually for this recipe because some people like to make small aloo paratha, some people make medium size, some people make big, some people make too thick, some people make too thin. So the quantity is like, you know, it is different for different recipes. This is Ashirva Bata. So to this I'm adding, these, this is almost uh, 6 teaspoon of um, salt. And to this I will add some oil around one tablespoon now some uh, turmeric I'm adding one teaspoon two teaspoon of red chili powder two teaspoon of cumin seeds and this is one teaspoon of carom seeds or ova or ajwain. I like to press it in my palms and then add it to my flour. I will gently mix it. Add this uh, tamarind pulp. I'm going to add this tamarind pulp. I'm going to sieve it first. And to this seed pulp, I'm going to add this jaggery. My jaggery is almost dissolved in my tamarind pulp water. So now I'm going to add this water to my flour. And now I will start kneading it. So I will add water as and when required. I am going to make a soft dough. So as you see my dough is almost ready. I will add a little more water. So you see I have not used full one glass, it is less than one glass. So you see my dough is soft and perfect. Now I will again add some more oil to it. Don't overly knead it, don't overly apply pressure to it requires uh, gentle kneading basically ashirva data basically so this is done so how you can check it it's like you know you should see that whether you are able to spread your atta if you are able to spread your atta quite fine then means it's almost done so our atta is ready for our parathas now i'll cover it and keep it aside so now for step 2 that is uh, stuffing, I am going to grate some garlic cloves 
these are six garlic cloves and uh, i'm going to uh, slit finely these five green chilies and i'm going to finely chop this cilantro too so first i will start, start with cilantro finely chop it okay this goes in this These are six potatoes which I have boiled it in the morning. The water is still warm. I will take out the water first. When you are boiling your potatoes, ensure that they are not overly boiled. Okay, so exactly I have boiled these potatoes for 20 minutes. I will grate it and then I will see the quantity. You can even smash it. See, this, this is the perfect uh, texture, this perfect texture you should get so that your stuffing should not ooze out. Stir this. So now I will even prepare my stuffing balls. So make all the balls and keep it aside. Okay. So first step now, I will make some few balls of my wheat flour too. A little bigger than my stuffing balls. And I will take one ball at a time. Cover it. Roll it in the flour. This is also wheat flour. Message them to come and pick it up. Hope you like it. So, friends, uh, how did you find watching this video? Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you have liked it. See you again.